let's have a look at measures of centre and the elements of chance. So when we talk about measures of centre, there's three main things that we look at. We've got our mode, which is our most common number, our median, which is the number that's in the middle, and remember for that one you have to organise the data from smallest up to biggest. Okay. Um, and then for the mean, you want to add all the numbers up and divide by how many you have. Um, so let's have a look at an example. So I've got this set of data here. And so if I look at the score of 3, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 threes. Okay, so I would list that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 threes. Then um, for fours, I've got four of those. One, two, three, four. So I would list four of those. Then I've got, in terms of the fives, I've got one, two, three fives. And I've got one, two, sixes. Okay. So then I've, t I've turned that into a frequency and said, right, threes, that occurs six times because I've got three of, six of those. So let's think about what the mode is. So our mode is our most common, okay? So in this case, if we think about it, we've got six threes, and that's the most number of anything. And so it's got the highest frequency, therefore that's what your mode is, all right? So we can see it both from the point of view of it's got the most numbers, but also from the frequency being the highest, okay? Um, now in terms of the median, so the median is the number in the middle. So in total, there are 15 numbers in this data set. So I want to go through and find from top to bottom. So end, start, end, start, end, start. So I'm just working my way through and finding which number would be in the middle and the number 4 is in the middle. All right. Now another way to think about this is I want you to think about it in terms of the frequency. So the first, the score of three, let me just rub those out. The score of three happens six times. So that tells me I've got six lots of three in that category. Now, if I take the total number of um, 15 and think, well, what's halfway? So half of 15 is 7 and a half. So that's halfway between 7 and 8. So I want to look in this set of numbers, I want to find where the 7th or 8th position is. So if I match that up to what I just did, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the 4 is in the 8th position. So that's what I'm looking for, is I'm looking for the number in the middle. Seven numbers below, seven numbers above. That means the position number eight is my middle. So if I know that in terms of the frequency, the first six numbers belong in that category. So that would mean, okay, so this is numbers one through six. The first six numbers are in that category. Then the next four numbers go for a score of two. So that's position number seven. 8, 9, and 10 um, have, are in that category. And so that's why I can also tell from the frequency table that 4, position number 8, is going to be a score of 4. Okay, last measure of centre is the mean. So to find the mean, we want to add up all the numbers and divide by how many we've got. Alright, so I'm going to go and literally go and add those up. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, so I've got 6 of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then I've got 4 lots of 4, 1, oh, not times, 1, 2, 3, 4, then I've got 3 fives, 1, 2, 3, then I've got 2 sixes. So I'm going to add all of those up, and then I'm going to divide all of that by the fact that I've got 15 numbers. Okay, so that gives me 61 divided by 15, which is a value of 4.07 to 2dp. Okay, now I just want to show you another 
way of looking at that is if I take the number 3, it occurs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So adding 3 up 6 times is the same as saying I've got 6 lots of 3. Okay. Plus, if I take the number 4 and I'm adding that together 4 times, that's the same as saying I've got 4 lots of 4. Then if I take the number 5, I've got 3 lots of 5. So that's another way of saying I've got oh, three lots of five. Um, and I've got, the lastly, I've got two sixes, so I've got two lots of six. So what I'm essentially doing is, let me just rub that bit out, I am taking a score of three and multiplying that by its frequency, plus the score of four, times its frequency, plus a score of 5 times its frequency, plus a score of 6 times its frequency, and that's going to give me 61. So if I do all that, that gives me 61. Then I divide by the 15, and I get my mean.